Hey, everybody. Sorry for the mess room. <laughs> um, uh, thanks for watching Save Monk Outdoors. I'm indoors today. Um, but the windows are open, so I do feel the outdoors and you can see the lake and everything. Um, but I'm actually, uh, today I want to work on a little modification on a knife sheath that I made, a handmade knife sheath that I made for my blind horse, horse knife, frontier knife, a small little Skinner uh, and bushcraft knife. Uh, that I that I absolutely love, one of my favorite knives, um, and I just want to uh, improve the modification of my sheath. So, stick with me. Let's get to it. Alrighty, folks. Just want to show you um, my little um, knife sheath that I made. This I made this quite a while back, and I didn't want to use any um, stitching or anything in the knife blade, knit knife sheath. So all I did was punch the holes here and then lace this one piece of leather together and it served quite well. The only problem is, is I actually put like a fat leather stopper down here, but since it's not um, sewn together, as you can see, when I push it in, there's a little secret out the back. See this right here? Can you see that problem? Let me see if you can see that. Oh yeah, you can see that little blade, can't you? Popping out. That's not only cutting my leather lattice down there, but that is uh, defeating the purpose of having a knife sheet if you have your knife popping out. <laughs> so anyways, this is uh, this uh, tiny little blind horse knife. Uh, uh, tiger maple handles. Uh, beautiful little blade. Awesome, awesome little blade. And I just love to carry it around, um, have it around. And I made this little neck knife sheath. So I need to reinforce that. And I need to open this up here. Taking this piece out, hopefully this is all in the frame. I'm just shooting on my tripod here. Okay. Just gotta work this leather tongue out of here. I'll show you what I mean inside. Try to get this open. See, just to have these holes punched in. This is just a super simple sheath. Pretty super. I, I thought it was pretty cool and stylish. Kind of looks very bushcrafty because the the blade goes real deep inside. And kind of finishes off there. The only problem is it cuts those laces down there, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. So that's not obviously working out. You see, I just have a little piece of, um, you know, uh, leather down here. The idea was that the knife would go down and catch in between here. Right in here like this. And stop. It'd be a backstop. But it just ends up penetrating through here and sneaking out the backside. So this is not working. So what I did, and I don't know if it's going to work, but um, I went and got some PVC here. And this is, what is this? I can't remember the dimensions. Um, yeah, I can't remember the dimensions on this. Yeah, I can't remember the dimensions. Anyways, not too ginormous. And I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna. I never tried this before, but I'm gonna try to flatten it out and make an internal PVC sheath inside here that will be hidden inside the leather sheath, um, and that will allow me to safely carry this knife without popping out the back. And what I'll do is essentially just flatten it down and then stuff it into this leather sheath. Okay, and hopefully that should that should work. Okay. We'll try to get to that. So let's just make a quick. I'm just gonna give myself more room than not. Let's just go right on here. Just want to score it and just grab my leather in real quick. Hopefully my saw. We'll be able to 
saw through that. Right around here. gun flatten it out all right so I removed that uh, piece here move that out and it looks ugly now but let's see how it looks when it Oh Lord. I'm right the mule. Maybe there's some spectators here. <laughs> Quietly watching along. Okay. Alright, we'll thread it through nice and loose first. Just get him in there. shoot look at all those cuts in that leather I'm gonna have to switch this leather lace out it's good then all right I'm gonna have to get some leather lace alrighty folks here it is and uh, yeah it's a little thicker than it was before it's laced in you really can't see the uh, PVC underneath uh, it's quite well hidden um, and it's just like that on the with a you know the lace just goes like that and then boom here's a knife pops right back in nice retention one two three four see that's pretty good retention pops right out nice little pop sound and yeah it's much safer not popping out in the bottom and definitely is gonna be happier riding around my neck not I mean, the potential to poke me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Always appreciate it. Uh, thanks for commenting. Uh, definitely appreciate the comments and the interaction with you all. And uh, once again, God bless. Get outdoors and get blessed. Sorry for the mess room. Take care, guys. <laughs>